breaking news. The Edo and Adamawa state governors have knocked President Bola Tinibu over his handling of the ongoing hashtag end bad governance protest. The Edo state governor Godwin Obasiki stated that the protests were due to the policies of the federal government, which led to the hardship for Nigerians. Guys, according to Obasiki, the protest is obviously the result of the, dif of the difficult living conditions which Nigerians have endured, particularly over the last one year, rising from various policies that have been implemented by the federal government. These, polit these policies have taken a severe toll on the masses who have had to endure you know the 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 high cost of food items high transportation costs galloping inflation and the loss of operating capital by small business owners across the country in other states obasiki has bragged that yes his government has taken several actions within his constitutional authority to reduce the suffering and the hardship of his people in Edo State, by showing empathy and supporting the people of Edo to weather and survive these trying times, despite the challenges, weakness across the nation. And I'm sure Basuki is talking about the minimum wage, I mean, the what he pays the Edo workers. Uh, according to, you know, Godwin Obasiki, he has tried his best, at least he's the only governor in Nigeria that is paying uh, above the the national minimum wage before Tinibu approved it to 70,000 Naira. Obasiki has been paying the workers in Edo State 70,000 as the minimum wage. The protest continued on Sunday in Edo State at the Ago Junction, uh, where protesters held a church service, sang and danced while praising God and calling for the end to bad governance, you know. They were seen praising God, praying, and also calling for an end to bad governance. The protesters barricaded the road during the church service, restricting vehicles. Soldiers in convoy pa patrolled the major roads in the state with a clear view, with a view to clear any barricade placed. In a recent related development, the Adamawa State Governor, Governor Amadou Fintiri, knocked Tinibu for his speech on Sunday which he said was not enough. According to Governor Fintiri, Tinibu's broadcast was not enough. It was not enough for the president to tell Nigerians that he has had their cries. What have you done to elevate the sufferings of Nigerians? According to him, Nigerians should not wait endlessly for necessary actions. The governor, while speaking in respect to the hashtag end bad governance protest in Adamawa state, commended his people, commended residents for conducting themselves peacefully. He, however, stressed um, the need for the federal government to heed the calls of uh, the people, where he said that the protest might be uh, unpopular, especially because of the way it was carried out in some states. But the message is quite clear and the demands are genuine. Um, you know, none of us in this country would deny that there is hunger and poverty in general. He added that as leaders of the people, those in government must at all times not only listen but also act. That the lesson we, might, we must derive from the protest is the constant reminder that it is not enough to tell citizens we've heard. We must also be seen doing the needful in providing solutions to the citizens' concerns, the governor said. On Sunday, we know that the almighty President Bola Tinibu addressed the nation on the hashtag end bad governance protest but many people a lot of persons knocked uh, Tinibu for failing to address the key concerns arising from the issue that led to the protest Tinibu was just beaten around the bush he failed to address the major elephant in the room he did not address the elephant in the room so the issues included the removal of the fuel subsidy the naira devaluation and also the food inflation and the food crisis we are facing in Nigeria. So guys, the Edo State Governor Basiki and the Adamawa State Governor has joined other list of governors that knocked President Bola Tinibu uh, for his uh, national broadcast speech, saying that his policies has worsened the hardship in Nigeria. Guys, I want to say something. Now, I'm sure that most of these governors, hmm, they would be 
happy because their citizens are not protesting against them. But I think as Nigerians are protesting against uh, President Bola Tinubu's policies, Nigerians should also hold the governors accountable for the country's problem. Not only the federal government to my country people, when I see this, this problem what they face for this country, not the only federal government they cause them, even the state governors. Nigerians should learn how to hold our leaders accountable, both at the federal level, at the state level, even at the local government level. Nigerians should understand that we must hold these leaders accountable at the theory tires of government. We should learn to hold them responsible. Our governors are also involved. Our local government council chairmen are also involved. And other agencies of the government, they are also involved because they are fully funded to undertake their constitutional responsibilities. So they should do so. A lot of aggrieved Nigerians should learn how to hold their respective governors responsible and accountable for utilizing public funds to provide basic amenities and to address insecurity. You can see what's happening in, 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 in Delta State, in Edo State, in other states, in Rivers, and other states in Nigeria. Their governors should learn how to handle the people. This problem will not be only for Tinibu Head. Tinibu would not carry only this blame alone. Nigerians should not heap all the fault on the president's head. The governors too, I'm sure they are shying away from their responsibility. Because you see this problem, not everybody supposed to carry the responsibility of this problem. So long as you're a leader, Nigerians ought to hold you accountable. So uh, this one that El is saying, uh, Tinibu is this, Tinibu is that. Is it because he distributed rice to some people in Edo states? Is it because he distributed rice to some people in Edo states? Because we heard Obasiki is distributing rice to some persons in Edo states. And I'm sure that election is around the corner. Maybe the distribution of the rice seems to be a, poli uh, it seems to be a political move just to sway some people to vote for the PDP in the states. Who knows? But I'm sure that Obasiki has his own reasons for, you know, sharing those rights in Edo states. He has good intentions, good and fine, but Obasiki has to do more. Obasiki that is saying, uh, Tinibu's this, Tinibu that. What about the road in, in Edo, Edo states? We see how deplorable the road is. But yet, Obasiki's government is waiting for the federal government to come and fix those roads. How about the state governors taking, responsi taking the responsibility of fixing federal roads in their own states? Because these federal roads we are talking about in these states, it's being used by the people. The federal government will not come down and use your road in Edo state. They won't. So the governors should also learn how to, how to, how to take responsibility for something. And Nigerians should also learn to hold their governors accountable, not only the president. So my country people, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.